Hi, welcome to the demonstration of the user side of the music store. This is an innovative system that allows the user to shop musical instruments online. The system reduces the time and expenses bringing the whole shopping process online. The backend used here is an SQL Server database which is on the server communicating with the Android application in the real time. The user is allowed to search for the products based on their categories and filter the items on the basis of their price or names in the increasing or decreasing order. The system includes an innovative floating cart that is available on each page which pops up without leaving the current page. Here once the user is logged in he is remembered until he logs out. Let's see how it works. This is basically the home page. The loading dialog exits when the contents of the home page is loaded. Okay, since all the contents are loaded, uh, basically we have five categories here, drum set, guitar, piano, flute and other instruments. So we have used a horizontal scroll view for each categories. There are five items of each categories in the home page. The arrow encircled and the more button depicts the same action, it goes to the category page. So let's click on more. So here we have 5 items under flute. Let's click on any item. So this is Poonam flutes, bamboo flute. So we have the price, the description and different images. So if you click on each image, you'll see the image above. So as you can see on top right, you'll see a cart icon. So if you click on it, you will see a floating cart. So since there is no item in the cart, so let's add this to cart. So as you add this to cart, the floating cart is popped up showing the item that you just added to cart. So if you proceed, it will take you to the cart page. So we have used a navigation drawer to switching between different modules so let's see my profile module here you can update your contact and your address details this is my orders module you have not made any orders yet this is your cart module you can likewise remove it and and these are the category modules so let's click on guitar and uh, on the top right extreme right you can see your filter option so let's apply the filters and see so currently all the items are arranged in the alphabetic order so let's change the filter let's do it z to a so as you see the items have changed the order so similarly you can also change it with price let's go to other instruments and let's add okay so let's add to cart let's proceed and let's continue now so you have moved to the payment method page so you have to select at least one payment method so let's say debit card and let's enter the card details we have also validations here and pay. So the transaction is successful and you are redirected back to the home page. Okay, let's see the my orders page now and you will see the date the item selected, the price and the status of it. Thank you. So let's see how it is the admin part. <coughs> so let's see the admin part. So let's see the admin part. We'll enter the admin ID and its password 
and I'll say login. After a successful login, I will get an dashboard where admin can add the products, update any orders, view the previous orders, view products and view user details. So in add products uh, section, you need to provide uh, details like name, price, its category, that which product is it and you need to provide uh, four images uh, if it's uh, less than four it's fine but at max uh, it can be only four images and then you need to provide uh, the description of that product so let's uh, enter the details of the product i have my details over here so i'll enter the name it's price and it's a guitar and I will choose my images so I have three images I will upload them one by one I'll select the second one and the third one and I will click on upload so my three images have been added successfully and I am leaving the fourth one blank so now let's uh, add a description and I will say submit so this will add the product with uh, these three images and it will add the product into the guitar category so user can look up uh, to that product in that particular category so next we have is an update order module where admin can view recently added orders so if he clicks on view details you can even get more details about that uh, particular order that what user has actually ordered like uh, this is the product name we have the quantity and the price of that particular product so if uh, its status has been updated so let's say if this product has been dispatched so admin needs to click on select dispatch and you can say update so this uh, status has been updated for the particular order so if you go and view details and let's change it to delivered and if you click on update you can see that we don't have any details over here as only undelivered uh, items will be shown over here and as it's uh, completed you can go in view orders and you can see the details over here of that particular order next uh, we have is a view product here you can uh, see that we have details about the product like its name its price uh, which category is the product added and its details so here we have uh, already added uh, this many products the next uh, is the user module here you can get uh, all the details about the user like its name, email id, phone number, address and all for delivery status <coughs> for delivery address and all so this is how the system works thank you